failure is just a proof that you tried. Now, once you fail, there's only one thing that you can do is get back up on your feet and try harder. Asa ho hi nahi sakta that you do not achieve your dreams. Hi everyone, this is Somesh at this side. Welcome back to another video in my channel. Today's video is the eighth edition in the company review series. Today we will be discussing everything there is to know about Salesforce. I will discuss about the company culture, the work-life balance, the type of work that they do, what kind of profiles they have, uh, what is the interview experience like, what kind of rounds and the difficulty level of those rounds. Not only this, we will also discuss in detail the entire salary structure, the different components, as well as the exact salary detail at each and every level, starting from associate member technical staff till lead member technical staff. So without further ado, let's get started. Salesforce has its dev centers in India, primarily located in Bangalore and Hyderabad, with its Hyderabad office being its major office. Salesforce is no doubt one of those companies that has amazing work-life balance, probably even better than Microsoft and Adobe. The employee satisfaction score of Salesforce is very high and the compensation is top of the line. Not only this, Salesforce do know how to take care of its employees. Hence, the benefits that they offer to its employees are amazing, to say the least. Apart from the industry standard benefits that are already present in almost all of the companies like health insurance, medical insurance, life insurance, accidental insurance, Salesforce has a host of other benefits as well that you can avail. For example, it allows its employees to purchase its own shares at 15% discount than the market value, which means the Salesforce employees can actually purchase the Salesforce shares from the company over and above what is given to them at a discounted rate of 15%, meaning straight 15% profit. Not only this, Salesforce also gives you around 5,000 rupees per month as healthcare wellness benefits, which means you can reimburse your gym expenses, massage expenses, and so on and so forth completely till the limit of 5,000 rupees. Salesforce also gives you good dental and eye care benefits up to 15,000 per year. To top off all these, Salesforce has free lunch and snacks in their office. Now let's come to the tech stack at Salesforce. So Salesforce has a host of backend languages and there isn't any one particular tech stack throughout the company. Like any other big product based companies is very much team dependent and the team has its own freedom to choose whatever tech stack they want to choose to build their product. Hence in Salesforce as well, product defines the tech stack and not tech stack defines the product. As a result, they have extensively used Java, Python, Node.js, TypeScript, C++ and so on and so forth for powering different needs of the platform that they build. Unlike many of the companies out there, Salesforce has a bi-annual release cycle, which means whatever people work on Salesforce, it goes to production in a six month cycle. Hence, generally, the work-life balance at Salesforce is amazing. Obviously, there will be some teams where the work-life balance will take a hit, but in general, for 90 to 95% of the teams, the work-life balance is simply superb and one of the best in the industry. In Salesforce, it is possible to relocate to different other countries, mainly USA, and there is no such condition like staying at a role for one year or more. All you need to do is find a team in a different country who is willing to hire internal candidates, interview with them and switch your teams directly. And it is very frequent and it is fairly similar to what other big product tech companies have. If we come to hike and appraisals, they are pretty much decent. Maybe not the best there is in the industry, but again, not the worst as well. In general, if you do not get promoted, the hike percentage varies somewhere between 8 to 15% with an average of around 12.5%. On the other hand, if you get promoted, then you can assume an additional 10 to 12% on top of the already mentioned hike, which means in total, your hike becomes, in case of promotion, somewhere around 27 to 30%. One negative fact of Salesforce is that there is no set policy of stock refresher, which means the amount of stock that you will get at the start of four years. After that, for most use cases, stock refreshers are not there. Generally, 
the top 10 or 15 percent of employees at salesforce only get these stock refreshers everybody does not receive these refreshers hence for most use cases after four years your compensation will decrease until and unless you manage to receive some sort of stock refresher every year one thing to note is that salesforce does not have a qa profile for individual teams on the other hand there are qa folks who are working but it is very less in number at around the end of these releases is when they test their entire platform now if we come to the interview structure the interview structure is pretty much standard like any other company except for one round that may happen or may not happen completely depending upon the team at which you are interviewing i really hope you're liking this content if you are then please like this video share it among your friends and peers and subscribe the channel if you have not already it will mean a lot to me not only this hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload such content for you guys mostly the focus is given on problem solving and data structures in algorithm and as you progress you start getting design based questions at associate member technical staff which is the level at which you will join right out of your college you will only get problem solving or dsa based questions at member technical staff which is one level above associate member technical staff apart from problem solving and dsa based questions you will also get low level design based questions at senior member technical staff you will start getting all the things that you were being asked till member technical staff and along with it you will also be asked high level design questions and so on and so forth as you progress above the levels more and more design specific questions will be asked and less and less dsa specific questions will be asked apart from that there is one unique round that i already said that that might happen might not happen depending upon which team you are joining and that round is basically a presentation round where they will give you three topics you have to choose one of them prepare a proper presentation and present it to them this shows how well you can identify with an unknown topic understand it quickly within two three days and present communicate your ideas your thought process your learnings as clearly as possible now we will talk about the salary structure at Salesforce. The salary structure at Salesforce is like any other big tech company. It has mainly three components. The base salary, which is the monthly salary that you will get at the end of each month. The cash bonus, which is a performance based bonus that is given to you based upon your performance, your company's performance. And it is generally a percentage of your base salary. And the third is your on hire stock grant. The stocks that you get when you join the company. I will not be including refreshers here in the calculation because only around 10 to 15 percent of the employees in a company gets it at Salesforce. Hence, it is not fair to include it in calculating the total compensation. The wait is finally over. I will start with discussing the exact details about salaries at each and every level at Salesforce, starting from associate member technical staff, member technical staff, senior member technical staff till lead member technical staff. We will start with AMTS, which is associate member technical staff. The years of experience required to be eligible for associate member technical staff is between zero to 1.5 years of experience. It is the first level that you will get when you graduate from your college and enter Salesforce. It generally maps to lower SDE1 at other companies like Amazon. The base salary at AMTS level varies between 15 lakhs to 17 lakhs. The performance based cash bonus is around 10% of this base salary and the on hire stock grant that is given for the next four years is somewhere between 14 to 19 lakhs which is given in four installments in the next four years. So the total salary at the associate member technical staff level of Salesforce varies between 20 lakhs to 23.5 lakhs per year. The next level is member technical staff, which is equivalent to high SDE1, low SDE2 at other companies. The base salary at member technical staff varies between 23 lakhs per year to 28 lakhs per year. Apart from that, you are given a 10% performance bonus at the end of the year. The on hire stock grant, which you will get in four equal installments for the next four years, varies between 18 lakhs for four years to 33 lakhs spread across four years. So the total yearly salary at member technical staff level varies between 30 lakhs to 40 lakhs per year. The average years of experience required to be eligible for a role of member technical staff at Salesforce varies between 1.5 years to 5 years of experience. The next level is senior member technical staff which directly maps to higher SDE2 at other companies. Average years of experience required to be considered for a senior member technical staff at Salesforce 
varies between three years to nine years. The base salary range at senior member technical staff varies between 30 lakhs to 45 lakhs per year. You get an additional 15% as cash bonus on the basis of your performance and your company's performance at the end of the year. And the on hire stock grant, which you will get in four equal installments spread across the next four years, varies between 33 lakhs to 45 lakhs. So the total salary per year at SMTS level comes out in the range of 42.5 lakhs to 62 lakhs per year. Now we will come to the lead member technical staff. The average years of experience required to be even considered for lead member technical staff is more than 6.5 years of experience for sure. Lead member technical staff maps directly to an SDE3 at other companies. The base salary range for lead member technical staff varies between 40 to 60 lakhs per year. You get an additional 15% of cash bonus and then on higher stock grant varies between 48 lakhs to 67 lakhs. So the total salary at lead member technical staff at Salesforce is in the range of 58 lakhs per year to 86 lakhs per year. As you can see, the compensation that is paid out at Salesforce is really decent and very competitive with what is present in the market. Obviously, it's not the best paying company that is out there, but it is much better than most of the companies that are present. And one can never argue the fact that it has the best work-life balance across any company that I have seen. The work culture is amazing and they literally treat you as their family. One of the best companies to work at in India for sure. Definitely if you are thinking of switching over to Salesforce, it will be a good decision for sure. You will get to learn quite a lot as well as will have sufficient time to enjoy your life as well. All in all, it is definitely one of the good companies that are out there. With this, I come to an end of this company review. Before parting goodbyes, I would like to say one small thing. That failure is just a proof that you tried. Now, once you fail, there's only one thing that you can do is get back up on your feet and try again and try harder. That's the only mantra for success. Try and give it your all. Asa ho hi nahi sakta that you do not achieve your dreams. So have faith in the world, have faith in humanity, have faith in yourself and just keep on working hard, working smart and trying. You will definitely achieve no matter what. With this, we come to an end of this video. I really hope that you like the content. If you did, then do like this video and share it among your friends and peers. And as I have always stated, a sub to the channel will be super helpful. Comment down below what other company reviews you would want me to make. I will definitely make them. I am trying my heart to get hold of data from two companies, Tower Research and Sprinkler. It is taking a bit of time, but be assured I will bring you those videos. This is Swami Ajit bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.